Okay, so the next one here, <clears throat> this comes from um, uh, Mike uh, DeLamater, um, and he's, in, he's up in Oregon, near Bend, Oregon, and uh, he's a blacksmith up there, and so he really liked the, uh, uh, the thing I did with the, uh, the S-hooks, right, and uh, the load testing. So uh, what he said is they said, hey, well, you know, you, you, you need some proper forged ones. And I love the packaging here. It's a uh, uh, <laughs> life cereal box. Um, so he, what he did was, let's get rid of that, is he, he forged some hooks, uh, he blacksmith style, a couple different diameters here. And uh, let's open these up. And... He's kind of curious. Uh, all right, Mike, nice tape job there. Okay, buddy. Packaging tape. I'm going to make you come down here and clean all the goo off of these things. Um, all right. Yeah, look at that. Mmm, yum. Oh, that's coming off okay. All right. So anyway, uh, um, he was interested to see. Uh, and look, he did, the, he did the little ends, the blacksmith style there. That's pretty cool. And uh, he was curious to see how these compared to cold formed ones. So these were formed hot and, um, and a couple different sizes here. And looks like he got the, uh, the radiuses pretty close to the, uh, what I was showing there uh, on the ones I did. And then here's a little baby one there. Um, so we're going to do a little load testing on those and we'll put the yank on them and see where these start to open up. Now with this tighter radius here, that's actually good because I think that improves, uh, it improves it a little bit. But uh, we'll try those out and, uh, and on camera and see how they do. So thanks Mike. We're going to, uh, uh, we're going to torture test these for you. All right. So what we got in here, um, a lot, a lot of people were real interested in this, uh, this homemade uh, dynamometer that I had, that I showed, uh, you know, testing the hooks. Um, so I figured we'd just kind of go over it a little bit. Yeah, clear this out of the way here, and uh, and show it a little bit here. So, um, yeah, you know, that'll work. That'll work. So what it is is uh, it's called a ring dynamometer, and. Um, the way it works is um, when you when you pull on it here, when you pull on it, this elongates and it changes shape. And what we do is we measure that that elongation there, and you can calibrate that against against a a, a standard um, a standard weight, some some weight that you know, say a thousand pounds or five hundred pounds or whatever. And uh, so you can calibrate it. So if you test it in a couple of spots, you can see. How linear it is, and um, um, and get a decent calibration off of it. So a friend and I needed a uh, kind of a um, large scale, and uh, we couldn't afford one, so we just made this. And uh, these are um, <laughs> these are <laughs> Tom Ox eye bolts. Uh, they're big, heavy-duty lock washers that I welded to uh, stainless steel lock washers, welded to a piece of stainless steel all thread. So that's the eye bolt. And uh, you know, just for reference, those have seen over 6,000 pounds um, on them. So uh, uh, don't underestimate the strength of your welds there. So they're, uh, they're plenty strong. Um, and then, uh, so the, the, the frame or the, the ring of this is made out of 7075 T6 aluminum which has a 75,000 PSI yield strength, which is pretty high, much higher than regular steel. So, um, and it's easy to machine and all that, so that's kind of why we did that. If it was steel, um, we would have to have, you know, a heavier ring and, uh, and the, that we would have to load it to a much lower stress. Um, this we can actually uh, push and, uh, and get, uh, put a little more stress on it than you can with just normal steel of the same size. So this is actually stronger than steel. Okay, uh, it's not as stiff as steel, but it's it's stronger than you know common uh, uh, steel like that. Okay. So um, anyway, this was all made on a rotary table, and um, uh, let's see, should I grab? Let me grab a uh, a scale here real quick. Well. Grab the metric scale here. So I don't know. It's 100 and uh, 
130 uh, millimeters in diameter, and the, the ID is, uh, I don't know, 100 millimeters. This wall thickness here is, I don't know, 13 millimeters, and it's, it's about an inch thick, 25 millimeters, okay? And like I said, that's uh, 70, 75. So what we're gonna do, uh, to, we're gonna test Mike's hooks, we're gonna put this back on the crane, and, um, and put the yank on, uh, on uh, the hooks that he sent me, okay? Anyway, so you can make your own if you want. Um, just be careful when you're, uh, when you're load testing it, and uh, um, you gotta do some calculations to figure out how far you can push it, too. So uh, uh, you don't just make one of these and, uh, and go hang a car off of it, okay? So there was some engineering behind this. Um, we calculated the stress in it and, uh, and uh, built it accordingly. So it has a safety factor. Um, I, don't, I don't remember. Um, I could probably go dig out the calculations. Uh, they're in a notebook somewhere, but uh, um, I don't have them handy right now. Anyway, that's that. A little closer view of that. And you can actually probably see it. I don't know if you can see it. Let's put that on zero. Oops. And I'll pull on it a little bit. <clears throat> And you can see it moving. So that's the ring actually distorting. Although, not very much. <laughs> Getting old. Okay. Okay, so here's the test setup with the dyno. And uh, we're going to start with the, with the small hook first. And uh, what I'll do is I'm going to bring the camera in closer so you guys can see the gauge here. Um, and then... Uh, We'll test each one of these. I think this is going to be the this is going to be the good one here. Um, but I'm going to try them all, and uh, we'll get some readings here. And um, hey, let's see what happens. So these are the forged hooks versus the um, um, cold bent hooks. So let's take a look at that. Okay, just just for reference, uh, every thousandth of an inch here is um, 100 pounds, so 10 thousandths of deflection is 1,000 pounds load. All right, so we're gonna keep our, keep our eye on the, uh, on the hook. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, it's starting to open up here, and we are at maybe 200 pounds. All right, there's 300. 300. 320, 350. All right, I think that's uh, so roughly 300 pounds on that. Um, yeah, let's go back down. All right, all right. So that one permanently yielded, and uh, up on this end here. Okay, so let's give this one a go. Now I don't know. Uh, Mike did anything special here. Let's see, make sure that's all in the frame. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset the oops. Go back down to zero here. I'm gonna reset the uh, camera just a little bit. Let's do that so you guys can see the gauge. Let's give this a little tug and see what we get here. Make sure that's not going out. Yeah, you know what? I gotta back it up. Okay, so that's a little better. Okay, so what do we have? 200, 300, 300. Okay, there's clicking up on 400. Okay, we're, we're seeing something happen here. 450. Okay, that's right about 500 pounds. Yeah, we're losing it there. It's yielding. That's yielding at about 500 pounds there. All right. Yeah, that definitely looks uh, that definitely looks stretched out a little bit. Okay. Now let's try this one. This is the one I think is the, the hot tamale here. Let me, I'm going to reset the camera. 
Okay, so let's let's go on this one now. All right, so I think we're losing this one here, and that's right at 500 pounds. Let's go a little farther. 550. Yeah, it's bouncing because it's it's yielding a little bit. This end looks nice though. It's just bumping 600 pounds there. Yeah, it's just bumping 600 pounds. All right. Okay, and just as a reminder, I'm going to grab one of the other ones and uh, we'll retest that because I can't remember what, what those got up to. Okay, so this is one of the cold bent ones here. Um, well, yeah, there's five, six, seven. Okay, it's bumping eight. Okay, it's starting to go. That's 800 pounds. It's starting to go at 800 pounds. 850. Yeah, it's going. Yeah, 850. Okay. So, cold bent versus uh, hot bent. Yeah, that one's torqued. Look at that. Um, I would say uh, uh, cold uh, cold shows just slightly better than uh, than the hot bent. Um, now I'm gonna probably send these back to Mike and have him uh, have him straighten these out because these are uh, certainly uh, more stylistic than mine. Uh, I just love the little the little blacksmith touch on the end there. Pretty cool. Okay, so there it is. And uh, one last thing, uh, we tested. Uh, uh, Mike Delamater's um, uh, forged hooks. Well, Mike asked me to. Um, uh, he lives in uh, Bend, Oregon, um, here in the United States, and uh, he's a blacksmith, and he's looking for some help with a little bit of machine work, and he's willing to barter some uh, some blacksmithing for that. So, if anybody uh, um, is in the uh, uh, Bend, Oregon area and has a little shop, uh, and you wouldn't mind helping Mike out. Drop me a note and then I'll connect you guys together and uh, you guys can work out the details. Anyway, uh, I think that's all I got for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching.